Some of these funds have 10, 15, 19 billion dollars in them, right? I mean, these are real, real money that's moving into these things. What I do think is interesting about the Ethereum ETF approval, and probably the thing I've taken away the most, is less about Ethereum and more about the rest of the market. What this signals to me is that all of the altcoins are going to come to Wall Street. It may take a while. There may need to be some regulatory clarity. They may get treated a certain way. But these things are going to come to Wall Street. And so what went from a zero to one, you know, is it going to be Bitcoin, is it not, is now going to be a crypto industry. And the reason why that becomes interesting is because people People who have this portfolio model or right. portfolio approach are going to start to apply that to all of crypto. Imagine a seismic shift in the financial landscape, one that promises to bring the burgeoning world of cryptocurrencies closer to mainstream acceptance. This is not a mere flight of fancy, but a reality unfolding before our eyes. The recent approval of spot at their ETFs by the US Securities and Exchange Commission marks a watersh moment for the crypto industry, akin to the transformative introduction of the Bitcoin ETF. Just as Bitcoin's price soared from $40,000 to $74,000 within three months of its ETF approval, Ethereum stands on the brink of a similar meteoric rise. The SEC's green light for spot Ether ETFs from asset management titans such as Fidelity, BlackRock, and Venac, as well as 21 shares, Bitwise, and others, is not just a regulatory milestone, but a harbinger of Ethereum's bright future. Set to begin trading on July 23, these ETFs paved the way for unprecedented access to Ethereum, attracting a broader range of investors who were previously hesitant to venture into the crypto market. The approval of these ETFs signifies the SEC's acknowledgement of Ethereum's growing importance in the financial ecosystem. This move allows investors to gain exposure to Ethereum without the complexities and risks associated with directly purchasing and storing the cryptocurrency. By trading on traditional exchanges via brokerage accounts, spot at their ETFs make Ethereum accessible to a wider audience, including institutional investors who were previously sidelined due to regulatory uncertainties and the technical challenges of managing crypto assets. Anthony Pompliano, a well-known advocate for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, highlighted the significance of this development during his recent appearance on Squawk Box. He emphasized that while the Bitcoin ETF launch was a historic event, the Ether ETF could potentially be even more transformative for the crypto industry. Pompliano's insights underscore the potential for substantial inflows into Ethereum, driven by the newfound accessibility provided by these ETFs. You think this is a game changer or not really? You seem less excited this morning <laughs> than when you were here on Bitcoin Day. Yeah, well, let's go look at the Bitcoin ETF. I think, you know, historic thing, uh, probably the best ETF launch in history. Um, one of the interesting stats is that the BlackRock Bitcoin ETF has had more net flows than QQQ year to date. Right, so just massive flows there, over $500 million just yesterday alone. And so I think what a lot of people say is, well, that was the first one. Is the second one going to be as big? And I don't think that's true, right? If you just go in, you know, before I came on, I looked at all the major news sites, people aren't talking about it as much. And so right. like, the media attention, the hype, all that stuff isn't really there. And so it brings you to the question of like, why are people not talking about it as much? And I think part of the uh, challenge for Ethereum is that the story isn't as clear. It's very clear with Bitcoin, right? It's digital gold. To understand the potential impact of spot at their ETFs, it is instructed to look back at the Bitcoin ETF approval. When the SEC approved the first Bitcoin ETF, it unleashed a tidal wave of investment. Bitcoin's price surged from $40,000 to $74,000 in just three months, driven by increased demand and the influx of capital from institutional investors. This price momentum was fueled by the ETF's ability to simplify Bitcoin investment, making it more palatable to traditional investors. Ethereum, often dubbed the world computer due to its versatile blockchain platform, is poised to experience a similar trajectory. The SEC's approval of spot at their ETFs marks a significant step toward mainstream acceptance, potentially catalyzing a price surge akin to Bitcoin's post-ETF rally. As more investors gain exposure to Ethereum through these ETFs, demand for ETH is likely to increase, driving up its price. The approval of spot at their ETFs is not just a technical milestone, but a strategic endorsement of Ethereum's long-term potential. Ethereum's blockchain supports a myriad of decentralized applications, dApps, smart contracts, and other innovations that are reshaping industries ranging from finance to supply chain management. This versatility sets Ethereum apart from Bitcoin, 
positioning it as a foundational technology for the next generation of internet applications. One of the issues um, that I think the critics have with Ethereum is that uh, the monetary policy mimics much closer to kind of the US dollar, right? right. There are uh, these periodic decisions as to whether uh, the monetary policy is going to be more constrictive or not, how many are going to be available, etc. So again, the story isn't as clear, it's not as certain. What I do think is also interesting is that Ethereum long has said, hey, we're the smart contract platform, and they were the dominant one there. But now there's a lot of competition, right? It's not the fast it's not the cheapest. There's these other blockchains that have come forward. And so I actually am of the belief that there will be inflows to the Ethereum ETFs. The Ether price will go up, but it's just not going to be to the magnitude that people kind of are hoping for because of these other prices. Paco Research, in its recent report, acknowledged the mixed outlook for ETH prices post ETF launch, citing the underwhelming demand for futures based ETH ETFs last year. However, the dynamics for spot ETFs are fundamentally different. Spot ETFs are more straightforward and easier for investors to understand and trade compared to futures-based products. This simplicity is likely to attract a broader base of investors, including those who prefer the stability and familiarity of traditional financial instruments. Furthermore, the involvement of heavyweight asset managers like Fidelity and BlackRock lends credibility to Ethereum and signals confidence in its future. These firms bring not only their financial clout, but also their vast networks of clients, many of whom may now consider adding Ethereum to their investment portfolios. This influx of institutional investment could significantly boost ETH's price, similar to the impacts seen with Bitcoin. Looking ahead, the launch of spot Ether ETFs is expected to accelerate Ethereum's adoption and integration into mainstream finance. As these ETFs begin trading, we can anticipate a series of positive feedback loops that reinforce Ethereum's value proposition. Increased investment will likely lead to more development on the Ethereum network, spurring further innovation and attracting even more users and investors. Moreover, the broader implications of this development extend beyond Ethereum itself. The SEC's approval of multiple Ether ETFs sets a precedent for other cryptocurrencies potentially opening the floodgates for a range of digital assets to be packaged into ETFs and offered to the public. This democratization of crypto investment is a bullish sign for the entire industry, signaling a new era of growth and mainstream acceptance. In conclusion, the approval of spot at their ETFs by the SEC represents a pivotal moment for Ethereum and the broader cryptocurrency market. Drawing parallels to the Bitcoin ETF approval and its subsequent price surge, there is a strong case to be made for a similar bullish momentum for Ethereum. As these ETFs begin trading, the influx of institutional investment and the broader accessibility to Ethereum are likely to drive significant demand, potentially leading to a substantial increase in ETH prices. Anthony Pompliano's view underscores the transformative potential of this development. By making Ethereum more accessible to a wider range of investors, spot Ether ETFs are poised to accelerate the adoption and integration of Ethereum into mainstream finance. As we stand on the cusp of this new era, the future for Ethereum looks exceedingly bright with the potential for significant growth and innovation in the years to come. Investors and enthusiasts alike should watch closely as spot Ether ETFs begin trading we're all in a new chapter in the story of Ethereum and the broader cryptocurrency market. This is a moment of optimism and excitement, as we witness the unfolding of a financial revolution that promises to reshape the investment landscape for generations to come.